Welcome. Welcome, this is Love of Us. I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to talk about perception. I've been thinking about this today, actually, tonight, last night, when I was working on it, and I was thinking about the world we live in, what America we live in. Everybody got their perception, which is the same as their opinion. Your opinion or per se perception is not the same as truth. Okay. Perception is how people view things based on their experience. But that doesn't equate to facts of life. You may say everybody thinks so this isn't a video about Donald Trump, this isn't about the president in Trump but I'm this is not a video defending Donald Trump. This isn't a video in particular directed to Donald Trump. But it applies and use them as People perceive Donald Trump as a racist and all this stuff. stuff. So he's the part in the country with his rhetoric. Is he? Or maybe it's you. Maybe it's the people who are divide themselves up. Maybe it's the Democrats who are dividing you up by race. And they're black. Think about this. Since when did everybody care about presidents? Since when did everybody care about people forget that it's not the president's job to make policy. That it's the, your congressmen and your politicians. We have gotten into this thing of passing the buck. We don't want passing the buck. Ten years, twenty years, losing these races. 
I don't, I don't understand when, what point did you become a racist? Because racism just happens overnight. You just wake up one day and you, you're racist. racist like you know, that. Every other night, you go say you're born a racist. That's not true. Actually, that's not the guy. No way to born to hate. Otherwise, I mean, my frustration with perception, false perception, perception as act instead of just being perception as opinion that can be changed if certain evidence is brought forth. I could perceive you as racist. But if you show me that you're not a racist, my perception can change. That's a different truth does not change. Truth does not change. Truth does not change over time. Truth does not change. Yesterday was today. Perception does. But say for instance, a third is white people always racist and are never going to be not racist. So uh, what's the point of you taking the knee at the uh, NFL head makes every white person racist and never change? What's the freaking point of protesting? What is the point? What is your point? You're trying to prove you, you might change, but you don't want to change. That doesn't make sense. Was a racist, always a racist, and you're protesting for no reason. You might as well not even protest. You might as well not even take a knee. You might as well not even do anything. But if you let things done, then be dumb. Child children think like this. This is racist. This is racist people say this all the time. This is what racists say. Perception is everything. My perception of the world right now is a bunch of hateful people trying to pretend they're not hateful by saying they're resisting hate. You're not resisting hate, you're being hateful. If you were resisting hate, you would love. You'd be the opposite of that. Since when are you resisting hate by keeping out your cat? How are you resisting hate by harassing people? Why do you How are you resisting hate if you're doing hateful things? That don't make sense. You're not practicing what you preach. You talk about love, but you don't know what love is. You never practice love. You don't know what love is. You only love those who love you. That is not love at all. You are fooling yourself. Love your enemy. You're supposed to love your enemy. You're too good to those who hate you. You might find that to be a, an ancient thing. Why should I do something if you will be fooling me? Because that would teach that their perception of life is wrong. You're not going to teach them anything by being hateful. Only prove them right. How is taking people out of your cubicle car proving anything? It will prove that you're racist. What, what is harassing people at this enterprise helping change America for the better? But only prove that you're hate, hateful bigot. What is all this for but proving that you are incapable of controlling yourself? Democrats are stupid, they're just smart. People, and I, I'm sorry, I don't, that's why I'm a secretary to not, I used to be conservative. Sort of still am, but not the way you may think. I'm starting to get into what I actually am. I am actually a centrist person who is somebody has to write conservative viewpoints. But, some conservative viewpoints and some not. The right thing is no better. Okay, the being too callous, the being too hard or 
are moving on positions. Clear my green. These all these are false perceptions of things going on. The perception of cops turn you down black people and killing in the streets. That's a false perception. It's only based on a small sample of people. Small sample. Sixteen people. Let's die how many people have been shot this year. Last year. Sixteen people. If you look at the bigger picture here. People the cops have to deal are always the cops are always back because you're always committing crime. Maybe not all of you, but because of your increase in crime rate and you being 59% of committing crime in America, including murder and whatnot, that is why they always have to big deal with black people. Because all we do is crime, we just stop doing it, deal with what's going on in the backyard. And lower that percent down from 25%, even 25% it might give you a better viewpoint on yourself. If you want to know how that you need to focus on things that are actually a problem in your community. <laughs> These broken homes is a problem. You don't teach your men to do it right. Be responsible. Not focus too much on women got enough rights, okay? The women have just about all the power in the world. They are deceived. They, they, they got the power. It's like you, you control everything, which is how you say you don't have power. <laughs> you make the most money, you, you say you don't have no power. Uh, now I need to stop with this false perception of power. Power is an illusion. Fleeting resource. You think you got power, then it goes away to somebody else. It is not that degree. You are not children. <laughs> you think for adults. Goodness. And you start taking your responsibility in your own actions. And this is for everybody. And it's not even an issue of race. It's, it's accountability for all. This is about all people's problem that is going on in America. Nobody wants to take accountability for their actions. No minority, no, no majority, no females, no males, no blacks, no Mexicans, no whites, no insert whatever. Yeah. No accountability. Everybody wants to pass the buck somewhere else. Politicians want to pass the buck to the president. <laughs> Even though it's their job to make the laws, pass the buck to the Supreme Court to handle all the laws that they should be able to pass. That <laughs> they're so busy fear mongering. Oh, the church is going to become a Jew. She's going to rape us, rope us, and everything's going to go to hell. Make laws that make abortion legal. They're not going to overturn it and say it's not constitutional. It's not. It has nothing to do with the constitution. Hey, that means keeping you making laws that make abortion legal. I'm not abortion, but I'm just saying in general. When people act like there's no other alternative. Why don't you try to do this thing called protection? They won't have kids. Okay, you don't want kids. Go use the condom. Okay, stop. Having a protected sex. That's one way you want to do this and you won't kill your babies. Black people are on the top on the top list of abortions. Top of this. They kill kids all day long. But somebody else is oppressing them. I hate Director, it's frustrating. I think about it. I'm 
in the Okay, okay. in hotels harassing folks and what 
going to throw in water in people's face because he disagrees with some niggas. Trump is not good. They have opinions, which his opinions have, by the way, even if he's the leader of the country, does have opinions, they you know they're not very popular. But I digress. It's his opinions. He's not telling them to make an oath. First of all, you need a you better um make laws um you know than very much. But right now, I'm gonna rest the last one, y'all. Not no, okay, bro. Straight up garbage behavior. Uh, 
patriotic ethic and all that. No, I it wouldn't be um, I didn't care until you started doing it off scale. We started showing off in front of the map showing off at least if you if you parents say we you get show off and get to make us house. I mean you can do it up showing off in front of my friends. Try and embarrass me. Try and embarrass me. You embarrass me in front of my home camp. Embarrass me in front of my friends. My friends and my enemies and my enemies are getting us with a little strange. Like, what's wrong with these people saying that? Kneeling for the flag. Kneeling with the flag. Their own country's flag. <laughs> these people are jokes. And this is America. I ain't going to be honest, I had a problem with it too. I'm patriotic. I know. Somebody showed me how to, 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 to do it that was not disrespectful to the day. It's like taking the knee to the knee that was a sign of respect for the dead. Thank you. 
life. You run to look to make people who have never been so a day in life. Every time I'm born, I hurts the right in the streets. God has never been so. Bought on riots, burgers and riots. What's the ability? You need to tell me when you earn a ticket. I don't remember seeing that. You don't need to be finance for you not to turn your cheek. You would never do that. If you really turn the other cheek, I can tell you what you really would have been doing. You would always be optimistic. Always talking about how the country better, better. You ain't never seen that. You're going to get all the time. You said that. You didn't talk about your mouth. Always. White people are racist. All white people are racist. All white people are racist. They're always going to be racist. We may hear that all the time. I heard it 20 years ago, 10 years ago, even 5 years ago. Not never in civil. They've never been optimistic in their life. And nobody's thinking negative about something I have also because I'm not in the bubble from what it has to Okay, you, you, you always have this preconception about what you do. Negative, even in the 90s. <laughs> when Houston had a negative perception of white people who were being hidden up, oh, so they just, oh, for friends at least, going to the movie, and they, ah, get, can't speak for herself. <laughs> Got it. That kind of bassoon that was everywhere. Most of that people got to the with these pretense about white people. A quick pretense that he didn't base on anything. Social issues. Minority uh, people who are obviously of with here. They, they talk, they, they complain about people generalizing it. But you generalize everybody else. You do the exact same thing. You do the exact same thing. You generalize everybody else. You complain when you get generalized. And when you stop doing it yourself. Oh, I'm going to stop it. All white people is racist, my guy, he's not doing that. <laughs> Maybe just like individual like every time, no matter what. We have learned to do that. that do on a one on one basis and not that <laughs> <laughs> If I were just people on the like, 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 like put themselves in Why people are judging them based on because like, you put this up together with all the bad people and you don't want people to move on accordingly. <laughs> so, why are you always doing this to bad people? Those black people are like that. Why keep boxing yourself in? Why do you keep viewing yourself as a collective if you don't want to be used in? white people. 
sound like you're racist to me. President Bruce, you can't be racist because we have the power. I'll tell you something. You're not doing that. Okay? You're not a child. You don't have to like create my child like mentality. Maybe maybe you don't make a mistake that you have the power because you're a child in your brain. But you know that is to you. You got on the power. The word is any let me let me put it in more clarity for you. If someone can lose their job, that's my in inferring the word, the N word, you got power. So let me give you the reality check. You got power to you can be racist. But you only need power to be racist. You just have to have the hate in your heart. In your mind. all the time in black churches. Don't know what it means, but do it all all time in church. Don't do it. Have some don't even do it. Okay. So basically you have both speech this is if you want a bird like we can both start acting like a racist. <laughs> and you stop listening to the Democrats. I'm sorry. You keep listening to your slave on the your former slave masses. I don't know. <laughs> Why y'all keep listening to these former slave masses? Their own opinion. 
I mean, it's not that hard. The Constitution can be interpreted any kind of way you feel like it. Out of the game for years. <laughs> okay, she does do a little work here and there. She's doing shot one movie coming out. Uh, Top of Harry movie. Okay, she still got it. Still funny. We'll be about to see it. Not probably, no, of course, everybody's probably going to see it now that she knows that she's not, not that she knows that she's not probably still. Don't worry about me going back. I still will see that same movie. You need to be reading. No, I don't, not like it anymore because you have different opinions. Unfortunately, I do respect freedom of speech. You have the right to have your opinion. Um, I don't care about your opinion, but particularly speaking, you have a right to that opinion that I don't care about. Stay <laughs> out of my Nobody wants to be in that. Stay out of your vagina.
borders. We shouldn't even have borders. It just shouldn't exist. Could the global take effective from governments? There's a prophecy of Bible. It's coming true. The, the Bible prophesied globalism. The, believe me, trust me, it did. It, it prophesied globalism. Okay. It said globalism is coming. Sorry, I'm telling you the truth. It passed. The word already said globalism is coming. We're seeing early stages of it. We're, seeing, we're trying to fight against it. But, I mean, we might lose it because now, because it's not yet time. But, it will come. It's a step.
diaper, Jane took his five down the other. But he didn't put women first. And then, we supposed to work as a team. There's a reason why it's done. It's been both of us at the same time. The same day, the same hour. We're not the same. Us for dictated the woman in the same day. He didn't create the man first and the woman the wrong. He created all of us equally. It doesn't matter who came up the moon first, it doesn't matter who came up second. The fact of the matter is, the purpose of this is teamwork makes the dream work. Okay? Teamwork. You not against men. Most for men, you are working with men. You're working together as one. That's your man kind. Don't get rid of the word man kind. <laughs> because it's referring to a species, not a person. Not a person. Your man kind is universal. I like created man. You know there is a woman and man Subscribe. If you get this type of video, 